Hi there, just going to take us for a walk around this electric uh, Kia Soul. It's got a 64 kilowatt hour battery, which is going to give you somewhere between sort of 250 and maybe even as much as 300 miles worth of driving range, depending on the time of year and your preferred style of driving. Um, it's also a first edition, so it's a lovely high spec car. Uh, Stats on this one. It's got 48,000 miles on the clock, so nice miles, not too high, but high enough to bring this car down to a very appealing price point for a car of this driving range and this sort of quality. Um, and it's going to have a fresh service and fresh MOT, so it's not going to need either of those things until September uh, 2025. It's very smart in the black. It's also a very striking looking car anyway, the Kia Soul. I think that's kind of one of the things that sets it apart from other similar EVs and uh, extra striking in the black. I'm going to go around the exterior now and I'll point out any little, note, little sort of noteworthy marks there are. Overall though, very good condition. The boot sill and the boot are looking okay. on the um, on the grey plastic there on the wheel arch. All the alloys are looking okay. I imagine there's going to be a stone chip or two on the bonnet and the bumper. Um, a couple of little marks just there, but nothing. Nothing particularly noteworthy or stand out ish. So, yeah, overall, yeah, nice condition car. Definitely. Very nice inside as well. Gets nice full leather interior. Heated front and rear seats, heated steering wheel. Nice infotainment system with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, reversing camera, auto hold. Really, really good Harman Kardon sound system as well. Head up display, adaptive cruise. Loads and loads of really nice spec on this car. Lovely condition inside, as you can see. Yeah. Lovely condition in the back there. It is a very nice interior. Obviously, the, the electric soul is based on the same platform as the e-Nero, so got the same battery and drivetrain, that sort of thing. But um, the interior on the, uh, the Nero is a bit sort of utilitarian. However, on the soul, it's quite that much nicer. Yeah, nice big boot as well. Uh, just for boot floor height too, to give you a flat load space if you need it. Got roof rails as well, stick a roof box on if you're taking this on holiday or something like that. So yeah, it's a nice, spacious, practical, uh, long range EV. Loads of spec and really nice inside. Um, in that boot we will of course be putting a uh, public charging lead like we do with all our cars. So this car is going to come supplied with a lead that you can use to plug it into a public charge point at somewhere like a supermarket or a public car park. Uh, and if you need a charge point installed, just let us know. We can, of course, supply one with the car for you, just to keep your life nice and simple. Uh, and there you go. If you're after an electric Kia Soul, this is a lovely example, uh, coming in at a real good value price point, and it looks very smart in the black. Equally, if you're after a practical, long-range, high-spec, sort of family-suitable uh, EV, I mean, you've got to check out the Kia Soul. I think these are really, really good news. Like I say, same platform as the e-Nero. Uh, I would say a nicer interior and kind of higher, higher feeling spec really in many ways, uh, yet it comes in at an even more competitive price point. So, uh, so yeah, but anyway, this car's here on the forecourt ready for a test drive or a viewing. Alternatively, we can deliver it straight to your home. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to watch um, all our videos on our YouTube channel and our website. Hopefully they'll help you um, decide what's the right EV for you and hopefully we'll speak to you soon.